Writing a fraction in the simplest form can be very easy when you use the same method of prime factorization to find the greatest common factor. Okay? Some examples are easy, such as 8 over 10. We don't really need to go out of our way to look for the common factor. We can simply say divide by 2, top and bottom, and it's 4 over 5. But when it comes to bigger numbers, now we need to find the greatest common factor. So let's take 36 over 48. Now then, we could go through the whole numbers, but that could take a long time. Using prime factorization would be a lot quicker. So let's start with 36, okay? We can make 36 with 9 times 4. And then break the 9 down into 3 times 3, break the 4, 2 times 2, okay? Now then, let's do 48. 48 can be made with 6 times 8, and then we break the 6 down, 3 times 2, 8, 4 times 2, and the last one, the 4, that bring down the rest of the numbers. Right. Let's compare our common primes. We have a 2 there, 2 there, 2 there, and then we have a 3 and a 3. That's it. There's no more common numbers. So these are left out, they're not needed. Now then, we multiply the common primes. So 3 times 2 is 6, times 2, 12. And that's the same for this one. Therefore, the common factor for both is 12. So now we can say 36 divided by 12 over 12 will give us our final fraction, which is 3 over 4. And that is a much quicker method than, look, than writing down all the factors of 36 like this and continuing. Okay? Now then, let's do another example. With different numbers, I have one ready. 12 over 36. Now then, when you become more familiar with fractions and numbers, and also your multiplication tables, some of you might be able to tell that 12 goes into 36 three times. Therefore, it will equal 1 over 3. So, in years to come, you'll see this will become a lot easier for you to just see it. But for now, as we're starting up, find the common factor. Break it down. So let's break down 12 into 3 times 4, and then 2 times 2, and bring the 3 down to finish it up. Then, with 36, and I'll show you a different way this time, as opposed to 9 times 4, let's do 6 by 6. 3 times 2, okay, circle your common primes, a 2, a 2, and a 3, so that now tells us that the common prime is 3 times 2, which is 6 times 2, 12, which is common in both, so again, we will do 12 over 36 divided by 12 over 12 to find the simplest fraction straight away. This is why we do it, to find the simplest fraction straight away. You see, we can easily have a fraction like, you know, maybe 12 over 100. And we can keep on dividing by 2 over 2, over and over again, or by 3 or by 4. And we will have many steps, okay, such as 6 over 50. Then we could divide by 2 over 2 again. And then it will give us 3 over 25. Okay? But instead of doing all these steps, let's cut out all these steps and do it one time by the greatest common factor. And that is the easiest way to find the simplest form of any fraction.